Frank Gore? Have you seen his influence in that room in, in any way? And if so, how? I think so. I, I think I think you just watch Frank. Frank carries himself like a professional in everything that he does. In, in how he's in the room, he's working, taking notes, trying to learn the offense because this is new for him. He's out here, he's working. I mean, you just look at him, he's drenched head to toe every day when he comes out here. That's the kind of effort that he puts in. And I think those young guys do see that. And they say, man, here's a guy that's really achieved some great things in his career and yet he's out here grinding every day and that makes those guys accountable to do that too and I think that's that's what Frank it's one of the things Frank brings to the room. Sonoris Perry is a guy who, you know, we, we look at the rookies, we look at the starters. Where, yeah. where does Sonoris fit in? Well, he had a great spring, in my opinion. You know, he really showed himself as being dependable to go in there and know what's going on. Um, obviously, his role has been on special teams primarily, but when you've got a jersey, even as a special teams player, you got to have an offensive role. That's one of those roles and functions that we talk about. And so what he's done is established himself as a dependable person to be able to go in if we need him. I don't Right now, I don't have a hesitation dropping him in the game. I'd play him in the game. Back to Frank, um, what has he shown you? Obviously, we have a 15 years of tape. We can watch. We know what he does well. But what at 35 does he still do, do at a very high level? Compete. You know, he just competes at everything. He wants to be the best at everything. He wants to be the number one guy. He In the one-on-one -on -one drill yesterday, he was trying to go against the best linebackers. You know what I mean? He wanted those guys, those matchups. He's constantly competing. And that's what that's what you love about it. Are you, I'm, I'm sorry, one more follow-up. Are you going to have to, you know, obviously he is 35, monitor how much work he gets throughout the week in the season, or is it cool guy? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not there yet. You know, I'm still trying to figure out what we've got in camp, and we'll, we're going to keep massaging this thing as we go forward, and we'll figure out whatever the best plan is for us going forward. But I haven't made any decisions on how reps or how we're going to do any of that stuff. We're going to do whatever we need to to get the best guys to the game and to give us a chance to win. Does Drake's body type and skill set you know, seen in the league over the years. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I, I was, I, that's always hard for me. Comparisons are always hard. I, I just, I think, I think he's got a unique skill set to himself, and we're trying to maximize that whole skill set because it is special. You know, he can run. He's tough. He'll pass protect. He can run routes like a receiver in some cases. I, I just think we got to keep developing that. I, I don't, I don't have a good comparison point for you right now. To me, he. To me, he reminds me of some guys that people questioned if he could be in every down back because of he's a speed guy, he's a third down guy, he's a specialty guy. What do you think has to happen for any athlete at the running back position to change the perception from, you know, uh, specialty back, third down back, change of pace back to every down back? Performance. I mean, he's just got to perform and do it and show he can do it. We've got to put him in situations where he's able to perform and he either does it or he doesn't do it. Why is he so good at making something out of nothing? Because it seems like some of his biggest plays last year where you thought he was you know, dead in the backfield in the 40, 50 yard game. I, I don't, you know, you'd have to ask him how he does that. I don't know how he does it. I'm just glad he does it. <laughs> he does it a lot, too. He does it a lot. We're going to need him to do it. We're going to need him to do it.